What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of War Games Are for Everybody, where we haven't uploaded anything in a while. It's been a bit, well over, well over a few, a few months. Uh, in that time, we have gotten over 500 subscribers. So thank you, everyone who has subscribed and has been enjoying the videos. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the videos anyway. Um, I have to figure out how monetization works on videos now because I one of the requirements for keeping that or one of the requirements for getting that, I should say, was uploading consistently. At least one video every 90 days, which I have not done. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, Tokyo Highway. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Tokyo Highway Rainbow City, the expansion for Tokyo Highway that came in the mail today. So here we are talking about it. Uh, we also have the Tokyo Highway Rainbow City solo mode, which is cool. I actually quite enjoy Tokyo Highway, so having an official solo mode, pretty interesting. Not that you can't play it by yourself anyway, but official solo mode, pretty cool. We will go over the contents in the box first, and then we will go over the contents in the solo mode. So, let's just hop right into this. Tokyo Highway Rainbow... Oh, that's a lot of glare on the packaging. Tokyo Highway, Rainbow City. Uh, the back's just kind of going over what Tokyo Highway is. It does have some stuff from the expansion. Um, basically, the, the mission board is a new thing that isn't in the main game. That's something we'll get to when we're inside. A bunch of the, a bunch of the towers and stuff are new. Uh, the tower, like these three towers in here, I believe are from the base game. These uh, gray ones back here. The cylinder, the rectangular, I guess it's technically a rectangular prism. And whatever the heck this tiny one down here is. Um, this triangular pyramid tower is new. Um, the stadium and museum down here are new. We'll get to those when we pull them out. The airport is new and the rainbow is new. We also have some new car types. There's a dog barking outside. I apologize if the dog, the dog is catching in the, in the microphone. At least it's not the cats going after each other, which I'm surprised has not happened yet. Um... But yeah, we're just gonna hop right into this. We're gonna we're gonna see uh, what we have in here. Hopefully, I'm gonna see if I can get this open without having to to use the pen. Once once again, I did not bring something to cut this open with. Okay. That dog is really going at it. I, I really hope that doesn't go out through the entire video. That would be, first of all, very annoying. I'm sure for you guys, it's annoying for me. I can only imagine it would be annoying for you guys going through the whole thing. I could go close the window, but it's actually quite nice out and it gets hot in here. So I don't really want to do that. But if I have to, I will. Man, I cannot get this open. Time for the pen. We got a bit of a, at least a bit of a gap here. So I'm hopefully not, not going to hit the box by using the pen. There we go. Okay. Open it up. Okay, here we go. We got our Tokyo Highway Rainbow City box. I'm going to go close the window and hopefully we can drown out that dog a little bit. Give me a sec here. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit. Unfortunately, there's dogs out there barking and it's causing other dogs to bark and that's just an annoyance. It's one o'clock in the morning. Why are your dogs even outside? They should be, they should be inside, come on. Okay, let's see what we got inside the box here. Really cool design on the side here. All the different car types. We have the sedan, the electric car. Sports car, family wagon, limousine, highway bus, jumbo trailer, construction truck, delivery van, and the food truck. So many different car types. What is that, 10? Up to 10 players? Is that the reason there's so, so many now? Maybe it's just for variety. Anything else on the other sides? Tokyo Highway, Tokyo Highway, and just the cards on this side as well. So, cool little designs on the box there. We have our instruction manual here for Rainbow City. I'm assuming it goes over... 
the new contents as well as new instructions and stuff, or maybe it's just an updated rule book, which I'm gonna have to find a way to, I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to, I was gonna say I'm gonna find a way to shove everything into the old box, but I may actually be doing it the opposite way and finding a way to shove everything into this box. We'll have to see how that goes. But we have our new rule book here. Basic rules uh, about the game, components, which it does have all of the different car types. I'm wondering, I mean, this is just supposed to be the expansion. That's what it said on the, on the thing, but I'm guessing the rule book is an implementation for people who bought the game with everything else because there were two options for the Kickstarter. You could buy the base game or you could buy everything as one thing. But seeing as I own the game already, no point in getting basically a second copy of the game. Uh, missions and their scores. So this goes over the mission rules, which is something that I will have to learn when we decide to play the game because missions are a new component for the expansion. First follow the basic rules, three preparation distribute. Players start with 10 cars each, regardless of the number of players. The mission board may be stood up to be visible for all players. All other preparations are same as in basic rules. So it doesn't look like it'll be too bad, but missions and their scars, mission missions and their scars, missions and their scores, uh, drive, placing a car, one point for each car placed, uh, place a column development, one point for each development area. So it looks like this is just going over the different parameters that can come up as far as the, as far as the mission goes. These are all just basic rules, which are in our, our original base game there. And then on the back here, we just have more mission stuff, what the different missions mean. Dawn of the Tokyo Highway. If you want some information on the Tokyo Highway, it is in, it's in the rule books. You can pause the video right here and you can, you can read this little snippet of text on the Tokyo Highway. So first thing, so I'm gonna keep my component list open here because I can, I can read off what things are and sound smart about it. So first things first, we have our scoreboard. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the base game didn't have a scoreboard because there was really no score to be kept. It was just whoever was able to, it was just who was ever able to keep all their keep all of their stuff on the thing without knocking the thing over. I guess there were points for how many cars you had, but it was more so the first person to get all their cars on opposed to opposed to who had the most score at the end. So we have a scoreboard for all of our score-based stuff now, which ties into our mission board, which we did briefly go over there. All the different missions that can come up, which uh, <laughs> all the different messages missions uh, that you can apply to the game, I suppose, whatever you wanna do. Or if you're playing mission mode, which would just be point mode, this is all the stuff you gain points for. So we we'll just give you more points as you go along, depending on what you do. Pretty standard fare, I suppose. Uh, we've got some tiles here, which look like they are part of development area five. Just development area. Generic development area, you know. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, it looks like these are used for, oh, they're a little sticky. It looks like these are used for the different buildings uh, in order to place them upon. Now, I don't have the, the base game down here. I should have brought it down, but it looks like this is used. We'll bring the tower out here next to demonstrate. It looks like this is used for the large buildings uh, just as structures. So like you would place the tower on there and you would have your other buildings. There's actually a, a photograph of it in the rule book here, just as an example. You place all the buildings on it, just as like a little infrastructure kind of spot, just to kind of make the board look, you know, a little more, a little more fancy. So we have some little development areas. We have our tower, our nice pointy triangular pyramid red tower here, just called the tower. Got our development areas. Next up, we have the airport. Also a new thing for Rainbow City, which makes sense. Everything that's in here is a new thing for Rainbow City, but we've got our little airport board. I actually I really like this, how simple, for how simple all this, like I love how all this stuff looks for how simple it is, right? We have our little airport here. Really cool, I really like that. 
Next up, we have uh, whatever this is with some with some holes in it. Oh, was this like a fairground or something? We have a Ferris wheel and a castle and some bushes, which I guess we get to place inside. It totally is. This is the Kickstarter edition. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, the Kickstarter stuff came with these things, eh? So the amusement park is one of the things that came with the the Kickstarter edition, I'm pretty sure. So we have our little amusement park and we have all these uh, different, I'll find the right way to put these in. Oh, hopefully they uh, they go in okay here. Looks like maybe, am I looking for a certain size here perhaps? Is one of them bigger than the others? Is this supposed to go into a specific spot on the board? Oh, don't tell me it doesn't fit. Don't tell me it doesn't fit. No, there we go. Okay, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Uh, are they supposed to go into specific spots? It looks like this one goes here and then the bushes kind of surround it here, there, and the other. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I closed the window to get rid of the dog sound and now, of course, the cats are going after it after I said, good thing the cats aren't going at it and it's just a dog outside. So hopefully I don't have to go break that up. I wonder how many times I've actually had to like break. I don't do a lot of editing in my video, which I'm sure you guys have figured out. I'm curious how many times I've just like stepped, stepped away from the camera and for how long. I cannot get this last bush in here. There we go. We got an amusement park. This is cool. I love this. This little 3D aspect, the amusement park. Really cool. Really dig that. That's really awesome. So we have our amusement park. Uh, next thing, we have the rainbow for the rainbow city. Building underneath the rainbow, according to the uh, rule book here, gets you two additional points. Pretty cool. Or no, times two points, sorry. <laughs> two times two points? Driving through the rainbow. No, two points. Two points for driving through the rainbow. These things fit in here quite tightly. It makes me worry uh, about damaging damaging the, the board, potentially splitting it, either trying to get it in or get it out. But we have our rainbow. It's pretty nice, really cool. Love that 3D element that's being brought into the game even more than just the towers from the base game. Next up, we have our, this is here somewhere, we have our green, it's just called a green area. I think this is supposed to be like a stadium. Um, Maybe like a casino of some sort. It could be like a racetrack and a casino would be my guess. It's just called a green area. Let's stick our trees in here. Uh, they go this way. There we go. Get our trees in here for our little... I'm going to consider this to be a casino. Like I said, the rule book just says that it's a, it's a green area. But it kind of looks like a stadium to me, really. Looks like a stadium. This tree doesn't fit in here. Not a good sign when stuff doesn't fit in properly. I'm gonna make sure I'm putting this in the right way. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got, it's like a little, a little racetrack or a stadium. It could be like a football stadium or something, I suppose, too, a soccer stadium. You got your little building over here with your trees. Some green area. Pretty cool. Put that over. Is that still in, in the shot? Yeah, that's still in the shot. Next, oh, we have cars. Okay, so we have our plethora of cars here. Oh, geez. So it's just the uh, just the four sets, and there are four sets in the original, I believe, which means that uh, that's a total of eight players. Now, I believe there's also little sticky pads in there to put onto the cars from the base game because these cars unlike the base game, are actually made of rubber. It's a little rubber material, almost like those like rubber erasers that you had in like public school. Sort of like that kind of material. And this is to prevent them from falling so easily at extreme angles. That was a bad example. <laughs> it's to prevent them from falling so easily from extreme angles. In the base game, uh, there was definitely a problem with how steep of a curve you could make your thing. And while you may have been able to make your roadway a steep curve, you wouldn't be able to put your 
car onto it because they were made of the same material that the roads were made of, which is wood. And they would just slide all over the place. So making them out of rubber, actually a really good idea. I think that's a really great change that they did. And there should be little pads in here to, yeah, here they are right here. There's little pads here. These are actually the ones for the sticks themselves. These are to stop the sticks from moving around, which was also a problem. Problem, sorry, was also a problem in the base game. Maybe there aren't ones for the cars, but I feel like you could probably stick these onto the cars in order to stop, excuse me, in order to stop them from getting out of hand. So here's another thing that we have from the Kickstarter. It is the Yacht Harbor, a yacht club, I suppose. Let's open up our Yacht Harbor. I love that everything comes in its own bag. It's a waste of, <laughs> it's a big waste of, um, you know, it's not particularly eco-friendly. Eco They're all plastic at least, which although apparently plastic's bad, right? I, it's not very eco-friendly, but I like that they're all in separate bags. I do. Here's our little yacht harbor. Pretty cool. Extra little space here. Cool little addition. Next up, what do we got? What do we got? We've got the additional, the additional mission board. This is for all of our Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Just stick that back here. Uh, and we actually have to get to the one that we have not talked about yet, which is this guy right here. It is, uh, how do you, oh, how do you pronounce that? Um, Asakusa, Asakusa. Someone's gonna have to correct me on that because I definitely said that wrong. But this is uh, the Asakusa Tower, I suppose, is that right? Uh, I'm sure this is a thing that's in Tokyo that I don't know about because I have never been to Tokyo, nor do I know anything about Tokyo. This is a uh, pagoda, though. Like this guy down here. Is that what they're called? No, the pagodas are the actual... Like, these guys are the pagodas. These are just like the little shrine entryway things that have a name, and I'm probably not thinking of it. Is it just like an archway? Is it just a gateway? Is it just an archway? But we've got our little, this, I swear this is going to be hopefully the last time that I have to try and attempt to pronounce this. Our uh, Asakusa, Asakusa tower here, little shrine area. Another cool addition with the Kickstarter. Pretty fun. Uh, what else do we got here? A couple things left. Looks like we just have our column storage. So... This is, I'm guessing, uh, for just depending on how many people are playing, just so you know how many columns you're actually supposed to have, because I do believe, depending on the players, you have a different amount of columns for the game. So maybe it's just like a reference board to... Just a reference board so you remember... Oh, interesting. I think, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's interesting or not. So according to the to the Kickstarter edition thing, it says that the column storage board useful for counting column numbers easily. Um, sure, I'm sure one day I'll understand exactly what that means. Right now, I do not understand what that means. I'm not 100% sure, but we have our column storage boards. So there you go. College, col college column storage boards. Part of the... Kickstarter edition stuff. That is everything that is in the box with the exception of our one silica packet, which I always bring up in the other videos. So we have one silica packet, do not eat. And that is everything from inside the box. We'll get our mission board over here. Try and keep everything moderately in the shot somehow, sort of, somewhat, somehow. Uh, so now that we've done that, we're just going to go through the solo mode, the Rainbow City solo mode cards here. And I need... Oh, this one has a little tab on it. Much easier to open. Why doesn't... Why didn't the normal norm, normal uh, box have a tab on it? I understand why all packages don't have tabs on them, because it would be a lot easier to... So much easier. 
everything should just have a pull tab like that. So much easier. Okay. Uh, is this the right way? Yep. There's not much on the back. Just uh, age players, which is one. 40 plus minutes for a game dang that's that's a lot longer than what have than i would have expected but not a complaint because i like tokyo highway so let's open this up it is rebecca it is recommended for eight plus which is interesting and of course now we get into the box no pull tab no pull tab for this for this set of cards which means trying to open this I'm probably going to end up bending the cards, which is really going to annoy me. And that's something that happens a lot when I'm trying to open cards is that they make it so flimsy. The cards are just too flimsy and it's so hard to get the packaging. This actually isn't going too bad. It's so hard to get the packaging off, right? They should have put a pull tab. They, they knew what they were doing with the box and then they got <laughs> inside and they just did a 180 and we're like, ah, forget the box. Who needs that? Uh, I don't know if you can scan this through the computer, but uh, if you want to scan, there's a QR code there. You can you can QR to go to uh, Eaton Games. I'm assuming it's a link to their website to buy the game. So if you want to buy the game, QR code, boom, go for it. Uh, do we have instructions? Solo instructions? Maybe? Possibly? Were they on this? They were not on this. This was just a... Nope. So they, well, the solo rules are actually probably in the rule book, possibly, but they might also be on here. So we have a bunch of direction cards. Looks like we have a bunch of north cards here. Some of them have the yellow column piece on them. Oh, this might just be a directional thing. So this is just saying that it is north, that it's pointing north. So it's, uh, it's an orientation. Uh, I'm sure eventually I'll figure out what all this means. I'm going to take a guess and say it's likely in the... Oh, we have an up. It's likely in the book. We have some downs. And just some more stuff like this. Okay, well, we have a bunch of cards for the, for the solo mode. Let's see uh, if we can check out the rules here figure out how that works. Maybe it's something I'll leave for its own video. Well, 40 plus is 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 a while, if it takes 40 minutes, that is. So maybe uh, I can do a rules reading in a video where I play the solo mode, but that requires me to find the instructions for, for the solo mode. Uh, end of the game, which are not <laughs> which are not in this instruction thing. That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. I'm wondering if the black um, black sections of the cards are what direction you have to send your you have to send your road in, possibly. Oh. You know what? It's right on top. This is a QR code for the rules. I don't like that. I really do not like that. I shouldn't have to scan a QR code to get rules for to get rules for the game. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm also going to be printing it out because uh, why would I not have the rules? Why would why would you not have the rules in the box? I get it's in this little tiny box, but you're telling me you couldn't put the rules on on a card like this or include it in the box? That's uh, that's a little disappointing. I got I gotta say, out of everything that's here, that's a little disappointing that it doesn't come with rules for the solo mode. But we're gonna we're gonna have to scan that in. We're gonna have to print off some rules, and we'll have to figure that out. But it does mean that I can't go over the rules right now because I'm using my phone to record, so I can't scan anything. So. Down the road, we are definitely going to be doing the solo mode. I actually plan on possibly recording it right now after I finish this video because I want to play the solo mode and I want to see how it goes. So that's that's it, though. That's that's everything for this this video. We've gone through everything that was in um, in the box, the Tokyo Highway Rainbow City expansion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I will see you all next time. If you have played Tokyo Highway, or if you have the expansion as well, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. If watching this 
yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. If watching this has made you want to try the game out for yourself, I know we didn't really show how the game actually works or anything like that. Um, but let me know that down, down below as well. Uh, it's always interesting to see what kind of games people end up checking out based on the stuff that we play and look at on the channel here. But yeah, that's everything. So thank you guys very much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I will see you all next time. Until then, just remember that board games are for everybody. Till next time, peace.